Have you ever looked in the audience and seen something that makes you laugh? Yes. What's going on, everybody? Miss Flo 420 girl here. Hey. So, today I'm going to be watering my lady this morning. And I thought maybe you'd just like to come with me into the grow room. See the progress. So we've got 14 beautiful autoflower ladies in here. We have about six of them that are... Five or six of them that are... Nope, oh, yep, yeah, six that are doing really good blooming right now. Almost gonna get coming to the end of their bloom period, which is really exciting. And all the other ones are just starting to bloom or have been blooming for a little while now. So we got lots of progress in here. But everything in this room is blooming. We just have different ages of autoflowers in here. Some of them are getting ready to be coming towards the end of their harvest. And then some of them are just starting to bloom, just starting to get nice fat buds and nice stacked on them and getting fatter. So that's what's going on in the grow room. The Mars Hydro TSL 2000s are doing awesome. We got the Fox Farm Ocean Forest soil, the Happy Frog soil. We're using a little bit of Promix as well. We just bought some cocoa, can of cocoa. And we amended some of our soil, but it's, these plants aren't growing in that soil yet. We have it on stash for the next run that we're going to do. So when these ladies are done, we have a whole bunch of plants in veg that we've been doing. So when these ladies are all finished, we'll move those plants in here. But for now, we're just going to be doing some watering today and just inspecting everything and making sure everything's doing good. We got a little bit of heat issue going on. The weather's changing here. So we have to have make sure we got the air conditioner and the dehumidifier running. Got all the fans going. So yeah, everything's doing good. And I hope you like my video. I'm not going to be going through the canopy very much right now. I'm just going to be watering. Hopefully the video doesn't cut off until I'm done. So. I'm not sure if you'll get to see me too much. I'm going to be down along the floor, walking around a little bit. But here we go. Let's water the garden today. Hey. Today we're live video but I figured this is just as good because then I can put this video on any platform that I want instead of just on Facebook or Instagram as a live video. One. One done. Thirteen more to go. Once you start doing this every day or have a good routine of what you have to do, 
you start to be able to go faster at what you're doing. You don't want to rush because you want to make sure you take your time. Nutrients cost money, so you don't want to spill your nutrients in your water. You want to make sure that you're watering your plant properly instead of just pouring the water on the soil in one spot making like a hole on top of there. Make sure all the ladies are nice and happy. That's too done. Moving on. 12 more to go. So I take my water jugs and I fill them with my RO and mix in my nutrients in and my pH solution. I give them a nice good shake. And then I come back here in my girl room with all my lovely ladies. And I give them their food, their water. Make sure they're doing good and they're happy today. Go ahead. Start to move plants around because it's getting full in here. You want to be able to get to where you need to go. Just be careful as you going around the cannabis jungle. You don't want to break any branches. You don't want to upset anybody. These ladies are always doing good. They're always happy. They get lots of extra attention. There we go. Three done. Eleven more to go. Sometimes I like to play music when I'm watering the garden. Sometimes I like to sing to them. Sometimes I just like it to be quiet and peaceful. It depends on my mood that I'm having. I recently talked all my planters up. I did put a post on my Facebook talking about having my roots exposed or having your roots exposed in general. I don't like to do that. I don't want my roots to get shocked when I water the plants. I don't want the nutrients going right on the root right away or hurt burning it and I don't want the sunlight to shock my root. So I went around the other day and talked up these leaves so everybody's happy. Beautiful frosty buds, nice stack buds, lots of different variety of strains in here. I guess I could be naming off the strains as I water them, that might be cool. So this one that I'm watering right now is LSD. I watered the Sour Grow already. Those are late to get water here. I watered one other LSD already, Dynafem, Blue Critical, and Blackjack. The next way you get in some water here is white widow crystal meth. Ten more to go. I enjoy doing this though. As long as I don't have anxiety and I'm in a good mood, I like to do it. I love spending as much time with my ladies as possible. I tell them that I love them. I'm going to be here to take care of them. So that was the white little crust of mess. Just got some water. Lucky you. Oh, the one I'm going to water next seems to have a question mark on it at the back. That's exciting. I remember what that was from. If you look in one of my last videos on YouTube, you'll see that when we planted our seeds, some of them got lost when we watered. They like disappeared in the soil and we couldn't find it. So we grew more seeds and then one of them decided to pop up in the dirt randomly. We couldn't remember what strain it was, so it's a question mark. But she's looking really beautiful. Beautiful and healthy. Give her some water here. I'm wondering if it's like a white widow crystal meth and it kind of has the same traits. But the auto flowers isn't even any cannabis plant. Most of them look the same unless they got a lot of different colors or the way the plant grows. They're green. They get buds. They're beautiful. They're my medicine. So, here we go. 
nine more to go. This next one that we're on is the Blueberry Cross of Big Devil. This one I've been sharing pictures all over Facebook, Instagram. This auto flower is massive. My tea, my hubby there, we did a lot of awesome training to this plant. Stressed her out just enough to the point where she decided to explode on us. We got some oxtails going on because of the heat issues that we had a little bit of in the room. But other than that, she's looking lovely. She's going to be massive. One of the biggest auto flower top colas that we've ever grown. This is really exciting. They just keep all the buds on that plant. Even the bottom buds are fucking sweet mine, they're massive. Super exciting. Here we go, eight more to go, buddy. Eight more to go, buddy. Gotta move some of these ladies back. Get back in line, you. Get back in line, too. Alright. Now I can go around the other side. What do we got over here we're going right now? This one went out of control. This is an LSD. So there's three LSDs in this room. She got some major high stress trains on her. Her branch was massive. She's a beast. She's over here in the corner. She's got lots of room. Spread her wings and fly. Become the biggest bud she can be for me. I love all the different auto flower strings and how many you can pack in one room. What do you think it would look like with 14 photo periods in here? I think it'd be pretty cramped all the way up to the ceiling. We've done that. But these auto flowers, though, it's pretty amazing how many you can pack in a room. And depending on how you like to train your plants or the different strains that you can choose from, you can achieve anything. It's awesome. So this one here that we're watering is the candy cane. It's a pretty awesome strain. I love that trying all the different strains. I love being, having the variety. It doesn't take as long to be able to grow them and to be able to have such a wide variety of strains. It's so cool. And to be able to try them from different growers and genetics and stuff, it's really awesome. Anybody interested in trying to grow autoflowers, I suggest you try it. Why not? Try it for yourself and see. You might really like it. We are going to grow a photo period still too though. That's not grow room. Gonna showcase on my channel. We've done a few different things in there. It's changed a little bit. We took down the tent and we just kept the tent poles. Because we didn't want to have to worry about the heat in the tents or and also we wanted to be able to put more plants for the space that we had. So we realized if we take down the tent material and keep all the poles. We can fit way more plants in there and still have all the lights hanging and it's still just an easy setup to take it down and set it up whenever we want. It's really cool. It's really convenient. But there's tons of photo periods in there, tons of photo period clones. The last two I just did were hmm, White Widow Crystal Nuts and Another candy cane. So I only got two more left to water and then I'm done feeding my ladies for the day. Everybody looks good, everybody's happy. So the next one I'm gonna do is the black jack. Black jack. If you ever wanna talk more, you can come message me on Facebook, Instagram message on my YouTube. I like sharing, I like to talk and share my grow and see what other people are up to and spread the love. So if you ever want to talk cannabis or growing or prepare grows or anything like that, DM me anytime, message me. I'm an open book and I like to learn new things. I'm always down to hear people's opinions and see new things and other people's grows. I like to stay home.
humble, just appreciate what we have, and appreciate what other people do as well. So I got last one here, I'm gonna go water. Last one down the line. LSD, baby. So there we go. Last lady to get the food this morning. I try to water my plant before noon every day. Every day, hey, I'm with you. I love you. So everybody, it was kind of a different video today. I hope you all liked it. Sorry if you didn't get to see me too much. Sorry if I haven't been putting out too many videos across YouTube lately. Lots of things have been going on. With the summer coming to an end, fall getting here. A lot of changes going on inside the house, outside the house. So, I'm just going to take the camera now and I'll just zoom across like the canopy. Try to show you guys like the top, top of the canopy of the plants the best they can. 14 auto flowers growing in here. So monster LSD at the back. Crazy blueberry cross with big devil. She exploded. She's a beast. Lots of beautiful strings in here. Tons of cannabis growing. Hope you like my videos. Please subscribe, like, share. Thank you for watching. I'm going to go into the other grow room and show you guys what's popping. Peace. Hey everybody. So here we are in the other grow room. As you can see, that's what I was talking about with the grow tents. We just decided to take the material off them. We took one down completely. And we're just using it to hang the lights from. And the smoke detectors, the fans. So we got our other Mars TSL 2000 in here. And we're running a small flies on there. With little clone babies. We got another nice variety of auto flowers over here. We got seven of them in there growing. A couple of them starting to want to come into bloom. So a couple of them are starting to bud up nicely. Got some lemon OG haze. Some OG amnesia. Lots of different variety of strains in here. So that's what's going on on this side. Oh, there's another auto flower over here. Another white widow crystal meth. And then down here we got some clones going on. That is a massive photo period. That is the LA Confidential Blueberry Haze photo period plants. These are the seeds that we ended up with when we did a cross in our grow room. She's massive. Try and get you guys a better view. She is a beast. I can't even put my arms around her. She's massive. She's in like a huge 15 gallon pot. So because she got so big and we did a lot of topping on her, we decided to take some clones off as well. So we got the flies on light going on over here with the clones. One of the trays is doing awesome, one of the trays is dying. So out of two, we got one tray, so that's awesome. We could always take more if we want off of her. She's just vegging, chilling out, waiting for us to switch her into bloom. Like I said, she's massive. Check out all those bud sites. I can't even put my arms around her. So that's what I was saying, that we're not done growing the photo periods, as you can see. 
still lots to be done. Lots of exciting things happening. So that's the photo period there. Massive mama. And in the back there, we have white widow crest of meth autoflower. Some baby photo period clones there. And on this side, seven autoflowers. Some of them which are started to bloom, some of them are still just getting close to being ready to bloom. So I hope you like my video. Please subscribe, like, share. Thank you for watching. Ms. Flow 420 Girl. Peace. They said, don't fall. Don't forget all the things you've been taught, you've been told. Don't blink. Don't run. Don't turn left or turn right or look straight at the sun. My mind's gone in circles, I'm trying to fight it. Get in these voices inside to stay quiet. Go to the place where all this began. Inside to stay quiet Go to the place where all this began